use Galerkin method to find the displacement of the system. of the system shown So this is the problem given a bar which is uh, having area A x modulus E uh, subjected to a, a axial load P which is having length L. Now so solution for this problem. Now first we have to define the boundary condition. So boundary condition at x is equal to 0 at x is equal to 0 u is equal to 0 right now at x is equal to l do u by do x that is equal to p by a so these are the boundary conditions okay this is nothing but stress is directly proportional to strain now so first step that is formulate differential equation differential equation of equilibrium so for a bar problem differential equation of equilibrium is A e into do square u by do x square plus q naught is equal to zero since there is no traction, therefore this is not there, right? So A e, therefore this equation will be A e into do square u by do x square that is equal to zero. So this is the differential equation of equilibrium next second step that is assume a polynomial displacement function so next step is assume a displacement function it may be any polynomial or trigonometric so here let us assume it is a polynomial so u is equal to a naught plus a1 x plus a2 x square. Right. Next a naught a1 a2 are generalized coordinates. Now at x is equal to 0. we have if we substitute uh, sorry uh, x is equal to 0 we have u is equal to 0 that is the first boundary condition now second boundary condition this is first boundary condition second boundary condition is at x is equal to l do u by do x is equal to p by a Now, if you apply these boundary conditions, apply the, the above boundary conditions, it 
we get if you substitute that x is equal to 0 u is equal to 0 here you get from from boundary condition a okay, from right that is at x is equal to 0 u is equal to 0 if you substitute here you will get a naught is equal to 0 so therefore we can write u is equal to a1 x plus a2 x square right now if you differentiate dou u by dou x the above expression you can write it as a1 plus 2 into a2 into x so we know that dou u by dou x is nothing but p by a e that is at x is equal to l so if we apply so from from that is boundary condition b that is at x is equal to l we can write <coughs> dou u by dou x is equal to p by a e so therefore now if, if you substitute in this here you can write it as p by a e that is equal to a1 plus 2a2 in place of x to substitute l. Now that is nothing but we can write a1 is equal to p by e minus 2 l into a2 now if, if we got a naught and a1 substitute in displacement function we can write substituting the value of a naught and a1 here we get u is equal to p by a e that is a1 so a naught is 0 into x in place of a1 substitute this so plus sorry minus 2l a2 x plus a2 x square now that is u is equal to p by e into x plus if you take a2 common you can write x square minus 2lx into a2 so third step is substitute the displacement function into differential equation Okay, so now we have already applied the boundary condition so next uh, we will substitute so this <coughs> that is in, into differential equation or governing differential equation that we have just now obtained <coughs> for a bar problem so now as the polynomial function so this function is a approximate function 
so if you substitute uh, the value of u that is this here the resulting answer will be is not zero you'll get some error or some value some positive value will get so that is nothing but residue so we can write here ae <coughs> do square u that is u is this we are substituting divided by do x square that is equal to r some residue okay now i'll substitute in place of u this value we'll get Now, so this is u, so we need a do square u, right? So now we can, if you differentiate do once, we get p by a e plus x, x is 2x minus 2l into a2. So once again, if you differentiate, Can write it is two into a two. Okay, now uh, if I substitute this here, we can write r is equal to <coughs> two into e into a into a two. So this is the residue. <coughs> Next fourth one steps that is use the Galerkin's formula that is from weighted residual definition we have z 0 to l w i of x r of x into dx is equal to 0 now here the value of i the value of i depends upon the number of unknowns so if i substitute i is equal to 2 i can write 0 to l w2 of x into r into dx is equal to 0 <coughs> so now substituting for w2 of x into r now that is nothing but integration of 0 to l so w2 of x that is so as we have only one unknown that is a2 so w2 of x is x square minus 2lx so substitute x square minus 2lx into r is nothing but 2 e a e2 so that is 2 into e e e2 into dx is equal to 0 now if you integrate this you'll get 2 e a e2 into x cube by 3 minus 2l into x cube by or x square by 2 that is equal to 0 
so if you substitute limits we can write 2 e e a2 into minus 2 l square divided by sorry 2 l cube divided by 3 that is equal to 0 so from this we can write a2 is equal to 0 So the next, so we got now a1 is 0, a2 is also 0, sorry a1 is, a1 is this p by a e into 2l a2, a0 is 0 and uh, a2 is 0. So therefore we can now find fifth step, that is find the unknown displacement. So substituting the value of A2 is equal to 0 in so this expression that is the expression we got after applying the boundary conditions. So we get so let's say I denote it as star in star we get u is equal to so this will become 0 okay, because a2 is 0 so can that u is equal to p by a e into x <coughs> right now at x is equal to l you can write displacement u is equal to p l by a e. 